Some of you might be really missing your gyms at this point, and others of you may be saying, I should use this social distancing time to really start a workout plan. Well, today, Araldo Maglara, certified fitness trainer, is going to be with us, showing us how to work out using items we have at home. Hi, Araldo. Hi, Andreas. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for being with us. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. So we're going to jump right into this workout because I need I need to get going this morning. <laughs> all right, we're all good here. <laughs> you ready to go? I'm ready to go, and I've got a couple items you told me to have ready. So absolutely. So we're we'll good. All right, we're going to start with the first exercise, the push-ups. Now everybody loves the push-ups. They've been doing the push-ups for this demonstration. I'm going to use the wall. So if you guys have a wall, which okay. a lot of people have walls, we're going to do push-ups by putting your hands right on the wall. And we're going to keep, it's going to be called an angled push-up, okay? So basically what you do, your body's going to be angled towards the wall. And you're going to bring, lower your body close to the wall. And then you're going to push right up, just like that. Close again, and then push right up. Obviously, if your wall is wider, you can get more of your pec involved. The closer you are with your hands, the more of the tricep you're going to get involved in the workout. So I have a little small space here, but the way you're doing them, Adrius, is perfect. Just like that. Nice. Okay. Okay. So there that we is, go. So that is your first exercise right here. Put your hand on a wall. And if you can do about 10 of these nice and slow, you're going to start to feel a burn on your chest, on your arms. It's a great exercise. I've been doing push-ups ever since I was a little kid. So highly recommended for your, for your buildup of your chest and your triceps. So yeah, yeah, and I like those a lot better than the ones on the floor. So exactly. I can really get with that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, because you get dirty on the floor and you don't want to do all that. So, so there's your first one. Now, the second one, we're going to use our water jugs, one of our items that you can find in the kitchen. Here we go. I right, said, so here we go. We're all set up with the water jugs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use your, our lower body, the squats. Okay, so that's my favorite exercise, the squats. What you're really going to do is you're going to use the water jug. You're going to put it right close to your chest right here. Now this water jug weighs about seven pounds or so. I'm assuming yours weighs pretty much the same as mine. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it close to your body here, and then gently you're going to assume the squat position, which you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart, and you're going to lower your body nice and easy, until your legs are parallel with the floor, then you're gonna come right up again. So let's do that one more time. So nice and easy, you're gonna lift it down, and you're gonna come right up. Now, people are gonna say, how can I make this a little more challenging? Well, there's several ways how to make this more challenging. One of the ways that I do it is, I actually gonna lift the jug right up, straight up. Oh, okay. And that Now that's gonna, gonna, there we gonna go. engage your core on this. So now what you do is, if you can, then you're gonna squat down just a little bit. Oh, so you get the feel. You see how difficult it is. So That's am I how, raising my arm up? And you can. We can lift down? it up. Or when you come down, you can also do the squat with your arm like to the side of your head, just like that. You're gonna squat up, and then you're gonna push it right up, which engages your your shoulder muscles as well. Now, if you want to get brave enough, then what you can do is you're gonna hold the jug straight up over your head, and now you're gonna squat. So see if you can do that. Ready? All so you're right. gonna squat right down, and there you're gonna you come go. right. You see how difficult it just became. Yeah, that I feel that burn right away, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's because now you're trying to hold the weight over your head and you try to keep your body in a nice, perfect technique and you're going to squat down. So that's a great exercise with the water jug you can do. Perfect We've got exercise. two or three different variations of that we can do based on how comfortable we feel. Now, how exactly. many of those should you be doing at, at one time? You can do 10. If you can do 10 of those, that's fine. Now, if you okay. want to obviously do it overhead, you can also do try to do 10 of those as well. Gotcha. Right? So that's, uh, that's one way to use a water jug. <laughs> That'll keep you busy for That'll sure. That'll keep you busy. All right, let's get to our coffee cans. Our favorite okay. cans. Got my coffee cans. There you go, your coffee cans. I got mine. You got yours. And we're going to do this weighs about, about a pound or so. so yeah, and mine, more. I think mine's a little bit smaller than yours, yeah. but... Yep, it'll work just as fine. So what we're gonna do with the coffee cans, we're gonna do shoulder exercise with this one. So we're gonna do flies, right? So you're gonna keep the coffee can right next to your body and you're just gonna lift it nice and easy to this, to about parallel to your body. Then you're gonna bring it down again. So you're gonna lift okay. it up to here, then you're gonna bring it down again. So now we can do also front uh, raise this. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your coffee can right next to your body like this, and then you're going to just going to raise it straight forward. 
And if you don't have a coffee can, what would be the next best thing for this? Uh, you can use the water jug, the one that we just used now. Obviously, the water jug is a little heavier. So if you're not used to lifting a heavier weight, I would start off recommending with the water jug, with the, with the coffee can, sorry. You can also do the strap, the bands, the therapy bands. A lot of people use the therapy bands for these. So what you would do is you put the therapy band underneath your foot, and you can just use it to do this motion right here, military flies just like that and you can do it in the front ones as well so but the coffee can is a real good startup point for somebody that's yeah. not that's a beginner so it's a great well and this is a good way you know some folks are saying hey i'm going to my pantry more times than i should be so now we're <laughs> saying go to your pantry find something you can pick up and keep the movement going instead of getting the snacks absolutely it's about using your creative juices. You can do so many things with just the basic essentials. You can do so many things. So the next one, the last one we're gonna use is our broom, okay? Right. I use a broom a lot. I like to sweep, so. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. You can come over and- You can come over to your house and sweep, right? here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you're funny. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the broom and we're gonna put it right behind our head, okay? Just so. Rest it right on top of your shoulders. So okay. should my hands be pretty far apart on this? Yeah, just about to the end of the broom. You have it perfectly okay. right there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to use, we're going to do broom twists. So this is going to engage our core, right? Our core muscles. So basically what you do is you're going to start turning to the left, keeping your feet straight forward. And then you're going to twist to the front. And then you're going to go to the other side. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can wow. feel all those muscles engaging, right? Yeah, and you feel it, you know, right away. I was thinking for something like this, you'd probably have to do it a couple times mm -hmm. before you started to feel it, but that's a pretty good stretch there. This could also Absolutely. be very handy for those who are working from home and starting to feel the stiffness. Mm -hmm. I know I feel that probably about every day at lunchtime, I'm starting to feel right. stiff. So that's a good, Absolutely. keep the broom close a, by. Correct. Now you can also, you, you can use the, the broom, you can stretch it right up as so. And you can twist again. Right now you're engaging even more of your core muscles because you want to hold that broom straight up. That's great. Right. So these are little things that you can do. It's a nice workout that you can do. But you just got to use your, also, you can also, here's another one that just came to my mind. You can also use it straight up, put it in front of you. Now what you're doing with this one is you're also, now you're engaging your shoulder muscles as well. So when you're turning, from one side to another, you're using your shoulder muscles to keep this balanced. Mm. So there's many things that you can do, many house, household items you can use. You just need to use some of your creative juices, like I said, and you can get a great workout, you really can. So. Well, I'm inspired. I was telling <laughs> Araldo that I had not been doing as much working out as I wanted to do during my social distancing time, but now I've got no, no excuse. I've got everything right. I need everything just you right need. here. <laughs> and I will be reporting back, letting you know how, how much I'm getting going in here every day. Thank you so much for being with us. This is fantastic and something we all need right now. Thank you, Andreas, and stay safe. God bless everybody. For those of you who are watching and would like to get your workout on, we'll post a link on our website later today at wtbr.com backslash btm. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.